All right, with COVID-19, with closing my shop, with trying to find a boat and not being able to find a boat, and uh, all this other stuff. I'm sitting here with my dog. Say hello, Cody. Hello. <laughs> grumpy dog. See, everybody's grumpy. I think it's time for something. So I was looking at the map, of course, like I always do, and I'm putting together a route. So from, this is Livermore, California. This is Highway 84. And uh, you can take Highway 84 all the way up past 680. That's kind of, oh, what's going on with my, there we go. Up through the hills here. And then you stay on, you go 680 for like 10 feet. And then follow 84 down Niles Canyon Road. See if you guys can see that, Niles Canyon Road. And we follow that. <laughs> okay, Cody. Look, what you see? <laughs> I think he saw a dog. Uh, follow Niles Canyon Road until we get to Palomaris Can or Palomaris Road. Palomaris Road. <laughs> There's a real nasty turn here. I'll show you guys when I get there. You basically go through this bridge under a bridge, and then you got to take a right-hand turn. But uh, there's a lot of gravel on that uh, that turn. I'll show you guys that to get it really careful. Sometimes it's better to make a U-turn and come back. And then we take Palmaris Canyon Road. It's not Canyon Road, Palmaris Road. Uh, there's a couple of wineries out that way. And we're gonna take that through the hills, really pretty drive into Castro Valley and work our way into Castro Valley so we can get onto Crow Canyon Road, which can goes through the hills all the way into San Ramon. We're gonna follow it through San Ramon and then back out into the hills of Livermore. It's actually go past Blackhawk um, and then out into <clears throat> the hills again. And this is Highland Road. So this that's the road we were on, which was, oh gosh, I gotta go back here, sorry. So this was Crow Canyon Road coming up through here and it turns into Camino Tassajara. We're gonna take a ride on Camino Tassajara. Yeah, it's all if we don't get lost. <laughs> Camino has to Terra Tassajara. <laughs> has to Terra. Yeah. Camino Tassajara Road to Highland Road. And Highland Road we can take all the way in until we get to Livermore Avenue. Actually, I think that does change to yeah Manning Road and uh, some people will recognize uh, Morgan Territory Road that's like a suicide road um, or a uh, I think I don't know it's a really dangerous road to be riding a motorcycle on to Livermore Avenue and then I'm gonna go right back into Livermore that's the plan it's uh, about 55 miles and uh, Google says that'll take about an hour and 37 minutes. Man, I got it bad, I gotta go ride. Got my helmet, dogs off the lap, motorcycles outside, let's go. All right guys, today, so we are up for the ride. We're gonna take the KTM 1090 Adventure R out and uh, looks like it'll be some good fun. So this is one of my favorite bikes. Actually, this is my bike and it is my favorite bike. But uh, let's get on and go for a ride. I love the way this bike sounds. All right, so let's get out of the neighborhood. Get out on Highway 84. And that'll be our first little spot to take a look. All right, guys, we're out on Highway 84. And... Uh, it's a pretty little spot here. This is a nice way to enter Livermore if you're coming from San Jose area. You take the Highway 84 exit and uh, come on into Livermore that way. Um, Highway 84 actually splits off. So this is actually sort of Valacetus Road now. It used to be, I guess it would call Old Highway 84. And uh, so you kind of have to take that turn to get into the downtown Livermore area. All right, we're up at the top of Highway 84 and you got to see a bit of a view from here with the hills so green, it's quite beautiful. If you look off to the left there, I don't know if you can see that, there is a lake. 
actually don't think you can get to that lake. I think that's a reservoir or watershed that uh, is protected or has private property all the way around it. But it's beautiful to look at from here. And we'll take this down, get to the next interchange to stay on Highway 84. We're about to hit, uh, we're going to hit the 680 interchange and I'll catch you back there. All right, we are coming down to the interchange for that we just kind of clipped off of basically bypassed 680. But if you're coming from San Jose, this is the Niles Canyon Highway 84 exit. And from Livermore, it is the 84 Niles Canyon exit as well, I think, or you're just staying on 84. And uh, we'll enter Niles Canyon and I'll catch up as soon as that starts to look cool. We're entering the Niles Canyon area. You'll notice some railroad tracks on the right over here. And there is a train that you can come down and take through Niles Canyon for some kind of a tour. And I've never done that. I have no idea. It kind of looks like it would be cool because Niles Canyon is a pretty neat little canyon to go through. Um, lots of sort of old railroad bridges, things like that. Canyon gets a little bit more narrow as we go through. Pretty scenic, pretty beautiful. On the left, there's a creek there. Hopefully we'll get a good uh, view of that here in a second and I'll get to be able to show you that. All right, we're coming up to that bridge that you're gonna go under this bridge. It's a railroad bridge and you have an immediate right. So it's time to look in your mirrors, make sure there's nobody behind you, put your turn signal on, flash your blinkers. You wanna take it wide because there's always a ton of gravel. Look at all this gravel here. A great place to not not wipe your bike out anyways lots and lots of gravel on that turn and then we start working our way up this road here and it is pretty cool it looks like we might hit a little fog going up here but it's windy it's pretty narrow uh, if you come up early in the morning you do need to watch out for deer and things like that on the road uh, also watch out for rocks that may have fallen and in the winter, little ice patches and things, because it tends to be a little cooler up through this canyon. But it's neat. Enjoyable place to ride, that's for sure. Not a long one, and you can really pull this off at a lunchtime ride, so pretty neat. Also watch out for cyclists, because there are lots of cyclists on the weekends coming up this road. Uh, there are wineries, so there'll be cars pulling out. You just don't want to be driving too crazy. But you can see how that road's nice and windy, and. A lot of fun looks like it's been cleaned recently usually there's uh you'll see a few rocks and things like that as you go the temperature here has been a little if you can tell the sound just changed i opened my visor a little bit because it's cold enough that uh inside of my uh, inside of my visor is getting, uh, or windscreen is getting fogged up. Should have my other windscreen thing on, whatever that is. Here we go, a little fog coming up into the clouds. Temperature's dropping. What do you guys think of this road? Pretty cool. Nice and windy. It's kind of banked. There's some sand in the road. You always have to watch out for that. Super cool road. I love the way this looks. Easy to get to. Usually not a lot of traffic on this road. This is one of the things I love about the KTM. It's so versatile. Versatile. It uh, does really well on the road. I've got uh, dang near knobby tires on this thing and it still handles really well. This is a pretty rough road so it soaks up all the bumps. It makes it pretty smooth for me. I'm taking a cruiser bike out here and it's just a little rough. Say for like your Harley or your, uh, you know, a lot of your V-Twin bikes that haven't had some progressive suspension on it it's a little on the rough side if your sport bike's got a lot of really taunt suspension or it's overly tight that might get a little rough on you as well but um, adventure bikes 
and touring bikes just do fantastic out here get your RT out here your ST your K bike your Moto Guzzi they've got some speed bumps out here some homes out here be really pretty place to have a home don't you think gorgeous all right i'm going to catch you guys up in a couple of minutes and i get a little bit further up we've reached about the halfway point on this road if you guys have made it this far do me a favor hit that like button so i know to make more of these videos and uh, if you haven't already done so hit that subscribe button so we can get uh, more followers out there it makes it a little bit easier for you to make these motorcycle videos and uh, let's enjoy the road. This way we start heading down. You kind of head up all the way on the other side and now we're headed down on this side. Also, if you want to make a comment, let me know if you want more ri uh, places to ride. Uh, I've got tons and tons of rides mapped out. I just don't know if you know people want to see that or not. If you want to see that, make a comment. Say, yeah, I want to see more rides. Uh, and put more routes in here and I can leave the GPS coordinates and all that if you like them Love the way look at this road like you see it winding down like that is super cool. I Love it. I'm in a better mood man. I was sitting there all like depressed just hanging out at the house Like oh, I could go on this ride. I could drive here. I could go there <laughs> And now I'm doing it And that didn't take much just had to get on my bike and ride I just had to get out there and do it. Any bike. Just get on it. All right. So we're going to hit some more wineries here. If you like wine tasting, Livermore is like a good place to come. This is sort of the Niles area for wine tasting. There's maybe two or three out here. Livermore's got a ton of them. It is a great place to go check out wineries if you're into that. a little time lapse by accident and we'll show a couple left hand turns or right hand turn and get through Castro Valley and head on out into the hills again all right coming through these canyons kind of cool the smell is completely different because of the trees there's smells like uh, maybe sycamore and uh, eucalyptus uh, we're on the other side it smelled more like or the other yeah the other side uh, it smelled more like uh, pine trees so that's kind of interesting road winds up through the hills here and uh, it gets a little bit more narrow but it's uh, but a pretty nice uh, nice little ride this side's a bit smoother than the other side but it's also a bit more populated so a lot more traffic as long as you're not doing it during commuting hours I think you're just fine somewhere after nine o'clock usually about ten so makes for a good uh, afternoon ride or a lunchtime ride. All right, we'll catch you up in a minute. I keep saying that. Catch you up in a minute. All right, we're working our way. Got through San Ramon, working our way through the hills of San Ramon to the area of Black Hawk, which is I think, kind of part of Danville. I'm sure they're their own city or whatever, but uh, San Ramon, Danville, Black Hawk. So, I don't know. Kind of all the same. One notable thing about Black Hawk Plaza is that uh, there's a car museum there. And uh, when I was a kid, I actually ran into the owner of that museum. He was just storing his cars there. He hadn't opened it at his museum. He just had a, he owned, I guess, the whole complex there. So he had a big part of the building created for, to store his cars. <laughs> It's absolutely insane. Maybe he thought it'd make it a museum at one point, but now it's a museum with all his cars in it, and it's it's pretty decent. You know, it's cool. If you have a chance, Black Hawk Plaza. There's a car museum there. I haven't been there in many years, but I, I believe it's still there. You could look that up on the internet. Google. Anyways, catch you guys in a second. All right, we're getting up to that intersection. You always know you're getting close when you start seeing a lot more Maseratis and. Uh, shag wires, Porsches, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Bentleys. 
a little bit crazy. Oh, look, the police are driving just a Ford. Poor guy. You'd think they'd have something like a Range Rover here. All right, so there, this is the area of the Black Hawk Plaza. Uh, you can see that to my left, Black Hawk Plaza. There you are. And now, what road are we on? Anybody, anybody, anybody? It's Camino Tassajara. So my uh, Camino Tassajara takes us back out into the hills. And so uh, we're gonna take this off onto the hills. And it, you know, it's interesting because the last night it was really cold and it gets warmer and warmer as I mean, the day progresses, but this side of the valley ends up being quite a bit warmer than down in the canyons on the other side, which is more the uh, west side. All right, we're back in the hills, guys. Look at those hills. They're that I think that's called mustard weed. It sure is pretty. This yellow along the side of the hills. If you look behind that, look at the back of that side of uh, Mount Diablo there, or at least a portion of it. Beautiful looking with all the mustard seed growing. That's awesome. If that's not mustard seed, you can comment below, but I, I think that's what it is. All right, here's our turn. This is where we got to Highland Road. Hopefully we get a green light. Let's see if it registers a motorcycle. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Uh, maybe. This is a really long wait. I'll have to edit it out. <laughs> oh, look. We got a yellow light. But I think that's for the other car coming the other way. We're going to see. Did we get green? No. So we're now what we do is we wait. Now we've waited a bit. I'm patiently seeing it's going to go green. It's going to go green. It doesn't go green. So now we wait for this guy to go. And then we'll go right after him. And there we go. Perfectly legal in California. All right, we are on Highland Road, and we got a lot of that cool greens and yellows. Really pretty. Now, Highland Road is. A rough road again you know the sport bikes are okay uh, the touring bikes perfectly fine adventure bikes perfectly fine but there are a lot of bumps you're on a cruiser just a little bit slower it's a cool road though it's neat got these pretty pretty things to look at here as far as like hills valleys creeks old barns super cool and this is working our way into back to Livermore now we're headed that direction see somebody up here kind of off the side of the road want to see what they're doing or I run into them or anything that's kind of off the side of the road good job all right all right the next exciting bit there's actually, you can kind of go a couple of different ways out here, and if you see a road off to your right, it's likely it goes to Livermore. Uh, there's quite a few different ways to get to Livermore when you're out here, kind of following the main route. Today you have a choice up here. There's a, uh, I think it's Carnal Road or Carnet Road or something like that. You know what? You can go straight or you can turn right at this point. This little barn here, Carnal Road. We're gonna turn right. Just they go to the, exactly the same place. Um, you just have to take one more turn if you go this way. If you follow this all the way out, you're gonna make it into Livermore. You're just gonna go a different way. We go up here about to this barn. And we're going to take a left 
and we'll end up right back where on that same road again but uh, it's just a little bit of a uh, shortcut so to speak now we're going back on Manning Road here boy they kind of psyched me out with that new driveway it's as big as this road <laughs> somebody got a new house congratulations Gotta have fun, huh? There's lots of uh, farm equipment that puts dirt, rocks, things like that out in the road, so you do have to watch for that stuff. It's still a fun little road. Built some houses out here. Looks like they created a lake though. Oh, some wire down on the road. That doesn't catch up in your bike. Just a moment, we're going to be very right back where that other road pulls back in. Alameda County line, and then right up here you see the sign that has a little T in it. And that's where we would have come out if we just went straight, which is Highland Road. There you are, right there, Highland Road, boom, right back into it. Alright, now we are in Alameda, we're getting very close to Livermore, and I'm going to catch up as we head in. I've mentioned Morgan Territory Road. That goes that direction right there. This is Morgan Territory Road. I do not recommend taking that out on your motorcycle. It's scenic. It, it's pretty. But um, the, the number of accidents that happen on that road from cars getting on the wrong side of the road and it's really narrow. Uh, it's just it's just not worth it. It's sort of like uh, when you call a Russian or a lat, it's, you know, it's every time you take, you know, it's just a, a risk every time. And at some point you're going to get nailed out on that road. So please skip Morgan Territory Road, bicycles, motorcycles, I'd stay off of it. And there is a great trail system out there for mountain bikes and hiking. Um, and that's really before the Morgan Territory Road gets super narrow, so you can take your car out there and do some hikes. Alright guys, we are getting back into Livermore. This road we're on goes straight into Livermore. And uh, it's only about a mile down this, and we'll be right in Livermore. So, I'm going to sign out here. If you like these videos, comment, subscribe. Give me a yeah, comment down below if you want more of these. I can give you directions for different rides uh, in the Bay Area or uh, all throughout California. I've got a ton of them. Cheers!